Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Perfume Kenigan here. Guys, in today's video, we'll be talking about the top 10 fresh perfumes that you should consider adding to your perfume collection. So stay tuned. In my previous video, the four perfumes everyone needs in their collection, I told you guys that we have four keynotes in the fragrance wheel, which includes the fresh, floral, oriental, and woody notes, which is the basis in which you should build your perfume collection. If you haven't seen that video yet, then click on the link above and also in the description box down below to watch that. Okay, in today's video, guys, I will be sharing with you my top 10 fresh fragrances. But before we continue, hit on that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell so you don't miss a video from me. The first thing that comes to people's mind when we talk about perfumes with fresh notes is usually citrus. But I am here to tell you that it is much more than that. For instance, with these notes, I mean fresh notes, they usually emit this fresh, uplifting and clean vibes. And one thing I love about this note is it is perfect for daytime and quite refreshing to wear. So, fresh notes include green notes like galbanum, which you get in the opening of Reckless Leather by Amwaj, and also you get um, citrus notes, which are very popular in both men and women's perfume. This includes bergamot, mandarin, orange, lemon, etc. There are lots of fresh notes. So, let's start counting down. Guys, the number 10 perfume on our top 10 fresh fragrances is an inexpensive perfume that wowed me the first time that I sniffed it. The one I'm talking about is a floral fragrance with a subtle touch of sensuality. This one has some fruitiness as a result of the blackcurrant and raspberry, and also some prominent yellow floral notes like freesia. Guys, I'm talking about um, Ginny Lomvon Blossom. Oh guys, this one smells so delicious. The opening reminds me of Delina, and I think it's because of the lychee notes. After a while, this perfume settled into a sweet but not sickly sweet um, perfume as a result of the blackcurrant and raspberry and vanilla. This is by Omens, a light perfume. So if you're looking for a powerhouse, this one might not be it for you. It is very suitable for the spring and the summer months. Listen, the longevity of this perfume is weak and the silage, silage? <laughs> It's within your scent bubble, but it is great for work and I would say this is also a perfect gym scent. And it is called uh, Ginny Lomvon Blossom from the house of Lomvon. Guys, the number 9 on our list is an elegant floral perfumes that contains sparkling notes of pear in the opening with creamy sandalwood and tuberose in the dry down. This perfume has some freshness and innocence as a result of the lily of the valley and also some green leaves which amped up the freshness in it. Guys, I am talking about uh, Bella Blanca by Oscar de la Renta. Guys, <laughs> this one smells like a fresh laundered cloth with a beautiful powdery facet as a result of the iris notes. I sincerely enjoy the beautiful notes in this perfume, but the pear notes it always put me off whenever I wear this one because it is so strong and prominent and it smells like a sparkly champagne. I prefer red wine. <laughs> also, the musk in the dry down it is silky, synthetic and sharp at the same time. However, guys, this is a beautiful um, scent with stunning rose notes which gave it this feminine twist. The sillage and the longevity are quite moderate. I don't know. This is beautiful but it's not really my cup of tea, and I think it's because of the strong pear notes. But just because I don't like it that much, doesn't mean you won't like it. So give this one a try, it is very inexpensive, and um, it is a very beautiful summer and spring scent called um, Bella Blanca by Oscar de la Renta. So guys, there is a construction going on right now in my neighborhood, and it is quite loud. In case if you hear the background noise, then it is from this um, construction and I apologize for that. So let's continue. Guys, the number eight on today's list is a floral fruity perfume that got me on a major chalkboard. 
<laughs> it is a flank of the Good Girl Collection, which is famous for its stunning stellator. This particular perfume has a distinctive smell of rose, but it gained its freshness from vetiver, which is a grass that is very complex. Vetiver has earthy, woody, and fresh facets, which sometimes smells like an uncut grass, and it brings a unique greenness to this particular perfume. Guys, I'm talking about the Very Good Girl, and um, this one has prominent notes of lychee, rose, white berry. The rose here is creamy and powdery, which gave this perfume a sensual feel. Listen, if you, love, if you love rose perfume, then you need to have this straightforward rose scent in your collection. It is a wonderful dupe for uh, Delina, and the, but the price point of this one is very decent. The longevity and the sayage, 10 out of 10. For me, this is a very perfect summer all year round, I would say, scent. This is very beautiful, guys, and it is called the Very Good Girl. Guys, the number seven on my list is a spicy oriental perfume with a green facet. This is a perfume that I love so much because it sits perfectly on me and it smells like a gathering of the ultra wealthy individuals. <laughs> this scent is spicy, green, mysterious and rich and I picked this scent up six months ago when I traveled to Egypt. So here's what happened, let me just you guys. So I wanted to discover the art of Egyptian perfumery. So I toured the entire perfume shops that I found and finally one spoke to my soul. I went into this perfume shop and I told the guy who is also a perfumer that I wanted a saffron dominant perfume. So after like my 20th sniff, I encountered this perfume. And first of all, I sniffed the oil and I thought it was marvelous. So I asked the perfumer to increase the essential oil to 40% while he was mixing the perfume. He was shocked. And I remember him telling me that this scent would become um, bombastic as a result. And guys, I am talking about a perfume called the Queen of Spices. Hold on. What in the Egyptian goddess is going on here? This is stunning. This is perfection. This is fresh. And it contains notes of saffron, which gave it this spiciness. And also, my nose picks up some citrus notes as a result, maybe grapefruit. And there is something slightly aquatic about this perfume. I think it's the sea, the Red Sea water. <laughs> I think it's the Red Sea. Listen, this scent reminds me of a perfume called The Queen of the Sea by New Notes, which is a perfume that I love and will be adding to my collection. With this particular perfume, guys, I've just it up. Almost, it's almost gone. I only do two sprays because usually I'm an over sprayer. I spray 10 to 15 times, but with this particular one, guys, I only do two because it is very strong. And if I'm not careful, other people might get headache from it. But all in all, guys, this scent. It wows me whenever I spray it on my skin or on my clothes and it is called the Queen of Spices. The number six on today's list is an aromatic fruity perfume for men. This one is from the house of Pepe Jeans. It is a citrus slash lavender dominant perfume with a vanilla dry down. Also, this perfume contains some coffee notes that smells like, what would I say, freshly uh, roasted beans. And it reminds me of Versace Eros. So if you love that particular perfume, guys, then you will love this one. Guys, the perfume I'm talking about is called uh, Pepe Jeans for him. Mm, hold on. This one opens up with pineapple notes and also some mandarin and bergamot notes. I think this perfume will be more appealing for a younger crowd, 20 years and below. It has this cool side vibe with some uplifting lavender notes. The projection of this particular one is quite great for 20 euros. However, there is nothing groundbreaking about this one, but this, it is a cool scent to wear, uh, to have in your collection, if that makes sense. And it is called Pepe Jeans for him. Look at the bottle, it looks like a cocktail. <laughs> to cocktail mixer. Guys, <laughs> make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that yet, as we continue our countdown. Also, don't forget to like and to share this video. And let me know in the comment section down below your favorite fresh perfumes. So, the number five onto this list is a perfume that has this floral fresh and green accords. It is a floral fruity perfume that is divine and delicate. This one reminds me of spring when the flowers are in full bloom. It is very mild, it is somewhat of a skin scent in that the silage stays within your scent bubble. It is for sure an elegant feminine scent. And guys, I am talking about Eclat de Page by Lanvin. Mm, hold on now. 
This one opens with notes of tea leaf, which brought out this freshness to it. The green lilac and wisteria and Sicilian lemon leaves are very intense in this particular perfume. And uh, this perfume gives a fresh after bath type of vibe. And I only wish the longevity of this perfume was better because it is an amazing scent. The fragrance is safe for work in that it won't offend anyone, it is not headache inducing and people will have to come close to you to be able to sniff this particular one on you. It is a great, green, fresh, feminine, beautiful, stunning, <laughs> peony perfume and it is called Eclat de Paris. Guys, the number four on our list is an inexpensive perfume that has this green, fresh, powdery and sweet accords. It has a notable uh, tuberose note and I explained in my previous video the cheap long-lasting perfumes under 30 euros what a tuberose note is. I will link that video above and also in the description box down below. Guys, I am talking about my twist from the house of Mogozo. Hold on. Okay. Here you get, oh, you're getting some berries, tuberose, niodi, which gave you this green and floral for set. This perfume smells so stunning. Mm. And I think it will make a perfect wedding day scent. It is suitable for the spring and summer months. This is so beautiful. I need to wear this a lot more. <laughs> and the bottle is amazing. It's quite stunning. For this 40ml bottle, I paid only 22 euros. And it lasted on me for more than 7 to 8 hours. I was wondering, was it this perfume? It only costed 22 euros. So if you want a long-lasting, inexpensive, good, fresh, beautiful floral perfume, then go for this one. It is called My Twist from the house of Mobazon. <laughs> I am quite playful today. Guys, the number three um, on our list is a perfume that I've shown you guys several times on this YouTube channel. It is what I call my perfect chipre holiday scent. This one is heavenly and has a beast mode performance. Guys, I am talking about Hashiba from the house of Mission. I won't talk more on this particular perfume today because I've talked so much about it that I think you all might be sick, sick of hearing me talk about it. But for those of you who are just joining us today for the first time, hi. This perfume smells like pineapple slash cedar slash oakmoss combo that has a smoky facet to it. It is a great masterpiece and it has similar DNA with um, Creed Aventus. However, the longevity and silage are quite monstrous. So if you don't like a heavy perfume, then stay far away from this particular one because you will still be able to smell this particular perfume on you weeks later. It is a beautiful, stunning scent and it's called Hashibat. Beautiful. Oh. Number two on our list is an aromatic green unisex perfumes that project enormously. If you want a perfume that will last the whole day on your clothes and skin, then this perfume is the one for you. It opens with fresh notes of orange, mandarin, and oolong tea. Listen, this is the perfect example of a high quality, clean and fresh perfume. And I am talking about uh, oolong cha from the house of Nishan. Come on now. The opening of this one is bright, it is green and heavy on citrus. And I must say that this particular perfume has an elevated smell that smells like the lobby of a five-star hotel. It is super easy going and it has this zen vibe to it. The Lixia Kubeba and the Bergamot gave this perfume a tart, bitter, citric vibe. While the fig added some juice in it to it and the tea and the musk anchored the whole notes and made it solid. Listen, this perfume is phenomenal. It is generally, what I would say, mass appealing. However, I think it is really expensive for what it is. This is a tea perfume and it is fresh, it smells so amazing. Let me bring it closer to you guys. It is called Wulang Cha. The number one on this list is a perfume that has a stunning emerald bottle. It is an amber floral perfume that smells like the gardens during the spring months. Guys, this one is clean and refreshing to wear, especially during the spring, the spring and the summer months. It is classy, it is feminine, with a creamy sandalwood dry down. Guys, I'm talking about Jaipur Bouquet from the house of uh, Butcheron. Hold on. Here you're getting some grapefruit and cedar in the opening, which is an odd pairing if you ask me. Then you get some stunning powderiness from, as a result of the oris. And then at the base you get um, sandalwood and patchouli. 
the woods in this particular perfume they are very realistic and they smell like a fresh um, cut shavings you have to love grapefruit and cedar to be able to appreciate this one so although this particular perfume is beautiful it has weak silage and longevity but you can layer this perfume with some other perfume i usually layer it on with um hashivat and it turns this particular perfume to a beast mode perfume this is stunning this is green i love the bottle i think butcheron did an amazing work here i only wished it lasted as the longevity was much better but all in all get this if you want a stunning feminine perfume to wear in spring and summer months it's called jaipur okay thank you. so guys thank you so much for your love and support in the comment section as always i love reading from you guys and today my scent of the day is called royal 58 from hessa perfume this is a patchouli dominant perfume and i decided that every day or whenever i make videos for you i will tell you guys my scent of the day and i would love you guys to do the same as well let me know in the comment section down below your scent of the day so guys we've come to the end of today's video let me know in the comment section down below your favorite perfume on today's list or the one you'd love to try out Check out, my, check out my next video, my best Amazon perfumes, and I will see you there. Cheers.